Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let us see uploading blobs to Azure storage account container, including the folder structure. We are going to create the folder structure or cloud, which is similar to our local drive. Before that, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on Azure. Here, I'm inside my storage account and I have a root container. And inside this, we don't have an option to create the folders. We only have option to upload the file. We can follow certain approach to create the folders using this UI also. But let us do this with the programming first and I'll show you the way to create the folders using this UI at the end of this video. As we need connection string of the storage account, let us copy it first. Go to access keys, show keys and copy the connection. Here I have a root folder and inside this we have some files and it has a level 1 folder, it has one file and level 2 folder and under level 2 we have one file. We are going to upload all these files including this folder structure to that container. In my console application, I have already added the nuget package azure.storage.blobs using nuget package manager. Let us declare a variable static string connection string is equal to paste the connection string over here static string container name is equal to the container name is root container static string and we are going to read the files from c colon slash temp slash root folder now here let us declare where files is equal to directory dot get files folder path um, I'm going to read all the files and I'm giving search option as all directories as we have to get the files from child folder. Now here let us run this program. So we got all the files inside that root folder. Now we are going to iterate over these files and we are going to replace this part for each file before uploading so that we can get the folder structure like level 1 slash level 1 file and the same folder structure will be created over the cloud let us declare blog container client it needs azure dot storage dot blobs namespace container client is equal to new blob container client and it needs connection string and container name now let us iterate over files where file path or cloud is equal to file dot replace we are going to replace the folder path and we are going to replace with an empty string now we have to create a memory stream new memory stream and this accepts a byte array now we are going to read that byte array using file dot read all bytes and to this we are passing the file and here we can use container client dot upload blob and here the blob name should be file path for cloud and also here we can pass stream let us print a message stating the file have been uploaded file path or cloud uploaded and in the end, I'm adding console.read. Let us run this program. So it uploaded all the files. And if you see here, when we are uploading, we are giving the folder path or the file path like this. Let us go to our container and see if the upload is successful or not. If you see here, we got all the files that are there in that root folder and inside that the level 1 is created inside that level 1 file is there and level 2 inside the level 2 we have the file which is there inside the level 2. let us follow the similar approach to create folders under level 2 i'm clicking on upload over here and 
I'm choosing a file blob versioning demo and if you go to advanced here we can give the path a slash b slash c slash d I'm giving the path like this and upload the file so the file is uploaded and as we gave the path like this it gave the folders like this that is all in this demo if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel thank you